creating pixel art with Illustrator. In this example file, what I've got here is just a series of colors, just the colors I wanted. Uh, and this is just obviously in the swatches. What I've also got is in the layers. I've got um, just a series of layers here. But if I just turn things off, I'm going to start off with the piece of artwork that I wanted to begin with, which is actually from a much larger piece of artwork, which I've blown up large which has become pixelated, but I'm just using this as a super simple guide for really um, simple pixel art, just to help with the instruction of the image. So after that, I just go through and um, set up a grid. In this case, it's 18 times 20 um, grid squares in order to fit my scene. Now you can do anything you want, and even at any size you want, depending on how detailed you want it to be. And of course, then the pixel art, so I'll just turn off that grid so we see the final thing again. So I just want to quickly take you through the process of how you do this. So I've just got a new file here. I've got the space set up and I've got a similar um, structure in terms of uh, my pixels, my grid, etc. But I'm just going to start off from square one. So I'll just, uh, I'm just going to lock my base grid for the time being. So that's sort of what it's going to look like. But I've just set this up with just um, a guidelines to sort of help me. I'm going to go to my image first and I'm just going to place in the image I want to work with. So the image is just down here and I'll just place it in and I'll just click it there. So here's my image and as you can see it's really um, much smaller than what I ideally wanted to use. So I could have either crop that in um, Photoshop. I just want to show you can, how you can still easily do something like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is just sort of scale it up until I get to the size I want, just approximately. It needs to go bigger again. So you see I'm, I'm not really worrying about the pixels. In fact, uh, maybe the pixels might even help me with this. So just a little bit further. And that's probably just about there now. Uh, maybe just a, maybe another one just to make it a little bit bigger. I just want to make a nice simple file there. So perhaps one more. Doesn't have to be the same as the other one. Just want to show you how it all works. I'm just holding my space bar to move things around and now I can just sort of size it roughly where I want it to go. So here's my graphic that I'm going to use. It's on my image area here. I actually don't want any of the surroundings. So a simple way to solve that problem is um, actually, I might just bring it just a little bit bigger. Simple way to solve that problem is just get in the center there, and I'm going to just create a mask for it. So I'm just going to drag over, this is on the image layer, I'm going to drag over a mask. I'll just bring it a bit higher so I can see everything. Just with my key lines here, and I'm just going to take it down to where the mask is desired to be. Now, um, it really doesn't matter that um, I have got a filled area here, but um, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn that just to a stroke only. And um, just so I can still see it, what I'm going to do is just go to my point tool and shift select. So I've got the image as well. And simply come to uh, my object all the way down to clipping mask, because that's what we're going to do. And we're going to make it. So I've just made this um, this graphic now. So what I'm going to do is just go back to my layers. I can get rid of that for the time being. And I'm going to lock this layer. Now we're going to bring in a pixel grid. So to do that, I'll just go back to my start layer here. And I'm going to come to my um, rectangular grid tool. And as I drag this out, I think the grid's about right, etc. But you can actually just use your up and down arrow um, to increase um, or decrease the size of the pixels that you want to work with. So I might just, uh, I haven't got them squared up. In fact, maybe it doesn't even have to be squared, but I've sort of squaring up a bit more now. So there you are, just to, to add to that um, shape that I want to work with. I'm also, in fact, I don't even need to do that. Uh, I can give them a the black stroke by clicking like so, but I don't really need to. Um, 
but if if you because I don't want a black stroke at the end, but if you you do want to leave the back black stroke to hill, no problems because you can simply just turn the stroke off at the end. Anyway, I'm just going to leave that as is, and just to show you how that's working as we repair the file. So uh, let's see, we've got um, the colours that I'm going to work with. Well, I've got a whole list of colours here. I'll just get off my grid for the time being. Here's all my my colours. Now this is just too confusing. You really want to work with the colours that are going to be suited for the image. So the best thing to do here is just go up and select your colours. So I'm going to select all unused. Haven't really used any colours yet except for the black. So I'm just going to trash those and go yes. And I'll get rid of uh, my greys too. So we'll trash that. Actually I'll just go down to the trash. Colours are gone. Right, so all we need to do is with this image, um, I'm just simply going to go back to my layers here. So layers. And um, really I'm just on the start image here. I'm going to sample some colours. So I'll bring my swatches up. I'm just going to bring it out so I, so I can clearly have access to everything and my layers as well. So let's see, we'll go down to the sample tool. I'm just going to choose some colors here. Uh, I like that color, I'll bring it to the front and just drag it in here. You can name the colors, especially if you get a lot of colors that might help. But nonetheless, I'm just going to go through and sample just the colors that um, are going to be the colors I want to use for that. So sort of a shadow, sort of a, a earth tone or skin tone. And just a few colors here. Let me get the, the red there, and uh, the blue, and uh, maybe some colors of the black background as well. I'll just make sure I click that. And let's say that's enough of my colors. Oh, I better get a highlight there as well. So we're really sort of um, white, but nonetheless, that should do. I've got my colors to work with now. So all you need to do is, if I just go back to my layers, what we've got here is, I haven't got the image, this is all locked off. All I want is this new um, grid that I've set up. So I know I've got two base grids here, maybe it's not confuse you, I'm just going to drag that to the trash. So I've just got my layer up here and my grid. All we need to do is, with this file, just go through and um, select the grid. Then we come up over here and um, we can just go on to our bucket tool. Okay, so these are the pixels we're working with. So I'm just going to click on my bucket tool. And you see that little color bar that's up the top? This can actually cycle through these colors. So as I mentioned, you don't really want too many colors. If I just use my arrow keys, just using my right or left arrow key, I can just start cycling through until I get the color I want. And you can see it's cycling, cycling through here. So I might just start um, just dropping in my fills, just like so. Now, pixel art, this is a really simple um, effect, and I'm getting rid of the black line as well. But in fact, I can even just run over everything and uh, just to get a feeling of how that's actually going together. Okay, so it actually can be quite quick, essentially. So you can see how I'm just starting to shape up that. So I don't want to cover everything yet, so I can get a feeling for where the mouth is and things like that. So let me see, I'm just going to sample through just a few more colors here. Maybe I'll go to the to the black just to start giving um just a feeling. Oops, I didn't get the right color there. I'll better go back to that. That's better. And just starting to get the black shape in here. Okay, and uh, maybe I'm just going to stay with um, the shading effect here. Oops, not to do that. I need to just click through like so. Um, so just note where that color is highlighted so you get the right color. Let's go up here just to get the shading. And um, now I'm just going to add some shading in under the nose here. Maybe a little shading under the mouth. Just picking up some um, key areas and maybe even a bit of a shadow that goes through here. 
and um, now I'm just going to actually start bringing in the eyes. So, so it's very, very simple graphics, remember? So don't make it too, too tricky. It's about sometimes just looking away or even reducing it down in size in order to get the feel. But I'm just going to go and start bringing in some more of the uh, eye color here. And anyway, I'm slowly starting to get the feel of that. I do need a bit more highlight there. Oops, one more. And there should be the eyes over here. I might uh, just go through to a darker color. Oops, down to here. You're just basically cycling through. So that's the color I want here. I'll bring these up. And in fact, I might just add a highlight. Just highlight there and there. Anyway, you're starting to get the feeling of how it's going together. I'm just going to deselect this. And um, I'll just select the whole thing again, the whole grid. And just with my stroke here, once you've got everything sorted, just go and turn it off. And straight away, you start seeing how this is coming together. So essentially, that's how you can develop and work with pixel art. So enjoy working with Illustrator creating pixel artwork.